Hey, this is Swaggers doing L.A. Noir for GameGuideCentral.com and we are on the White Shoe Slain. Just fantastic names for these cases. They, did, they just did a bang-up job on names. So when you get to the crime scene, you're going to get the time of death and uh, examine the head as always to see that uh, she's been strangled. There appears to be a dry cleaning And then uh, on this case, you'll get a little cleaning tag. Hey, clues. Clues are fun. And then you can check both her hands. Uh, this is just to confirm that her jewelry was not ripped off. You don't get a clue for it, but they talk about it later. Overall, pretty good shape for a dead girl. Okay, let's go over here to the uh, next marker. And uh, there's some footprints. No drag marks. Hmm, no drag marks. Sure, Interesting. Surveying the scene. And then there's uh, tire tracks here that we need to look at. Our driver and our killer are most likely one and the same. Just across the way. After that, a witness will come up and just one question for her. Did you see about suspicious persons and uh, she is telling the truth. She's just trying to help out. And she doesn't like hobos. And then uh, go over to the phone and make a call to get the address for the laundry service. Phelps, one. So, going to the laundry service, that's probably a uh, good a place as any to just go right now. Superior Laundry. I wonder if those are high efficiency washers and dryers. Most people watching this video probably don't care about high efficiency washers. Actually, probably no one really cares about high efficiency washer and dryers. At least the red, you wrote the number down. He's going to give you his ledger, open that bad boy up, and we're going to find the ticket number that we just located. 1363. Three. Make sure you're right on it. It's pretty picky. And we get the address. One green West silk dress. Oh, that's what she was wearing. Hmm. So, we're going to go over there. I think I'm already there. I think the video that previous to this one got nerfed up, so. Yeah, set his destination, which is where we are. Go inside, and the husband's, uh, you know, going to do a little whining, and then he's got, he's got some creepy What's looking little problem, girls girl, and what after that search? you can look around and uh, right on this first table with the chess set is a matchbook you might hear something funny to check if she was a regular some bumps think filling out a missing persons report actually rules them out as a suspect and then from there uh, go left to the bedroom uh, and it's the left room get out of the way Galloway I'm the one actually doing the work here and just uh, check the picture. Why is it turned down? What happened? I why the What's going on with this family? Down. Who knows? Let's find out. Let's investigate. And then another matchbook. Same one. Same bar. They must yeah, love that bar. Someone must be real sweet on this. Someone dive. must be real sweet on this dive. Yeah. We'll go get that guy walking outside of it. He's he's a killer. He's probably a dirty killer. Get out of my way, Galloway. Excuse me, ladies. Okay, and we got her purse. Interesting that she doesn't have it. So she went out without her handbag? She went out without her purse. And uh yeah, she owns lipstick. At least she was great that particular indignity. And then check out her identification. You don't need to see her identification. She How'd you get served? State to leave this behind. Hmm. Pretty lax. Pretty lax rules back then. 
Over here he's got some muddy boots, size 8, everyone in the city except for like two people apparently is a size 8. We can see if Pinker can match the impression of the crime scene. And then hanging on the, hanging by the door here we've got a wet shirt. Doesn't he have a dryer? It was out in the rain last night. It's pretty wet. It's a lot of water. And then let's head outside and we're gonna run around to the boat. Check what kind of rope he ties his boat up with. And he ties his boat up with murdering rope. A match with the ligature marks. I think that's the brand. Murdering rope and everyone buys it. They should change the name of that. It's giving people bad ideas. Tie your bow with murdering rope. Yeah, that's the rope. It's murdering rope. Ladies. Um, and then make a little phone call here to get some more information. Operator. And then we're going to talk to the man and his poss possible suspects. Does he know anything about possible suspects? He's a liar. Lars, why do you lie to me? Your wife would He's got rope. Go. He could have killed his wife. His alibi? You Does he have one? Again, we're going to doubt that. You know. The party? I go and bring her home. What was the victim's Mr. state Townsend of mind like to... there, Lars? Ah, uh, doubt. It, doubt it. We like the Obviously wasn't here. very happy if she was leaving them at parties. And last contact with the victim? Went to bed. <sighs> so many lies. He should just be arrested just for lying to us twice. And his wet jacket. His wet jacket proves that he's been out and about. Okay, let's go to Baron's Bar, check that situation out. The tasty burger. And yes. we're going to just have a quick talk with the owner, and he's going to um, talk about last contact with the victim. What does he know about that? He's telling the truth. And he'll give you the bar receipt that shows what cab she took. Two rye on ice, one Manhattan, and one gin ricky. And then this uh, vagrant male suspect, has he seen that guy? The mm, likelihood is that whoever she left here not giving us everything there. Oh, sure. Doubt him. And then yellow cab, 3591. And that's the truth. To go so then he's going to point out uh, the guy in the back. And we're going to have to chase him down, as always. we got to chase everyone down. Go, Phelps, get after it! Oh, you should not have gotten out of your car, because now I'm going to steal it. Oh, yoink! I thought you were going to... God damn it, get after him, Cole! Yoinky, yoink! A couple of turns here to be careful really of this there. first turn. This Go slow, otherwise, yep. We can have a killer on our hands. Just bounce right into that tree. And then this is a fun one, too. Whoa! Boom! Bounce off the indestructible the wooden fence. Be back in close. They don't make them like that anymore, the people. Would be kicking back in the bar where he oh, oh, that was Listen, so bad. Listen, a creature of habit is your killer. For some reason, they're sticklers for routine. Come on, Phelps. That You're was this bad. I'm gonna take out that bench. Couple of bucks in damage done. there. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. No, a shortcut. I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. How do you hit that car straight on and keep going? Hit it. Oh, hit it. that's Go not good for road. you, buddy. Crash. And let's just talk to him right there after that crash. We'll talk to Mr. Wade. Do you want to sap you? Idea. And then the account so of his movements. Um. You've doubt that, tied, too. You, 